Hi, I'm Tim. I'm Megan. We're from Seattle. <laughs> Keep going. You're the photographer. Uh, Tanzania to me, I mean, it's a wildlife bucket list item, you know. Um, I came here for the wildlife. Um, definitely, I'm not a wildlife photographer, so I was super excited to hone that craft over the last couple of days and, and see some amazing stuff, you know, see lion cubs, um, you know, nursing and, and wrestling with, with the moms. Um, absolutely amazing. What I didn't expect was the people. And, you know, these, we've, everyone has been impacted by COVID, but coming here and seeing the people who have been severely impacted by COVID with, you know, no money coming in over the last year, no tourism to, you know, which is the, the backbone of this economy. And then to come here and people are so excited to share their country, share their wildlife, share their national parks, share their culture, and hearing the stories about what it has helped them do, you know, putting their children through school. Um, you know, we were buying art today and he was saying, thank you, I can feed my family because we're buying prints from them. Um, so that I think, you know, the, the photos of the wildlife will, will stay here, but so will the people that we've met and the, the, the emotions that we've seen and that we've felt. Um, it's, been, it's been an amazing, amazing journey. Coming to Tanzania was also a bucket list item for us. We were planning it three years ago at this point, and um, so excited that we're finally able to come, but same as Tim, the, the people have been the biggest um, takeaway, I guess, from the trip. Uh, just hearing from them their stories and being able to help. I mean, COVID's been rough. We, I was nervous. Um, that's a long trip here from Seattle all the way here. It's over 30 hours. But I felt like the airlines were super safe. And then as soon as we got here, knowing that everyone we were with had been tested and, you know, was negative. And then also the camp staff, all of our guides, all of the, you know, interactions that we've had have been, um, I felt totally fine. It was like you know, back to normal as much as normal can be when I'm not in my hometown. Um, but I felt totally safe and knew that they, that everyone was um, making sure that we continued to stay that way. So yeah, I felt fine. Yeah, the testing, the masks, the social distancing, uh, it all made us feel, you know, super comfortable. Um, you know, it feels like going to the grocery store. Um, where you know you there are things that you can do to make your, yourself and everyone else safer and those are happening everywhere that we have been um, you know and so we know that it's important to the people here um, to keep themselves healthy and to keep us healthy um, and so you know it's it's been we were nervous but it's been great um, have never been scared or nervous or anything like that